people have been clamoring for this money and the huge sum of money to now they say the budget is going to be increased and the huge sum is going to be sent to this region. So this not calm down people for some time. To do what? But maybe if what and let's just have a little explanation for the government because if what they used to send was just two percent, maybe they want to send five percent now, at least they have added something. So uh, it should help to calm down the situation because we see that they're not looking for solutions, but they're looking for things to calm down the situation first. They are not calming down any situation now. Before they will talk about the percentage, mm -hmm. they don't need any percentage for now. They should gather money and reconstruct what they have broken down in the northwest and the southwest. After reconstructing that, then they can be able to talk about percentage. Mm -hmm. What percentage are they going to send that will restore the houses they have burnt, the schools, the hospitals, and all what that the, the, the military is carrying out over there? Can they pay for the loss of lives in, the, in those regions? What about rebuilding or reconstructing the southwest and the northwest? I'm saying that they should first and foremost start by reconstructing what they have broken down before they start talking of a percentage because the big chunk of money that they are going to give is something we have been hearing in this country do you know that when the crisis started they said they were supposed to tap and remember you wrote mm -hmm. is still in the archives to be executed after 23 years like the special status that came in 1996 and it was even spoken of in 2019 for what another 23 years the by reference hospital Mamenda, we are yet to see the first block that will be laid all these promises are for a man who is dealing with a prostitute where you want to have her body you promise her heaven and air once you have her you put her aside the southwest is considered as a prostitute to the francophones they want to use and dump with all the promises we have outgrown that um sustainable development projects are carried out with teams on the field and practical manifestation of all the things they have been speaking since they started telling us all these things they are telling us big chunk of money what did they promise us in the past that they have not done that we're going to believe this one have they built the reference hospital? Have they tied the roads? Mm. Have they given us a ring road? Well, probably about? the crisis was not then. The crisis has made, made a lot of things to change. We, we should probably see, see the good side of this, what this crisis has brought, brought. Because probably before they did a lot of promises and did they did not do anything. And do you so know this thing we are talking about? It's a, it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. It's of two different parties. Exactly. You are a married woman. Imagine your husband only gives you money when you are sick. Is that love? <laughs> no, let's be sincere. It's a marriage between the English speaking and the French speaking. Mm -hmm. The French speaking stands with the husband, which is the majority. The English is like the wife. How can a woman be in a house? She don't care if she eats, she don't bother if she wears her part or she dresses well or she has uh, toiletries or whatever. The only way you only have, she has headache. You, you still start thinking of how you buy drugs. Can you stay in that kind of house? Why should the crisis be the reason why the government is proposing to do this and that and this and that? You only have to be a prostitute. And I think Sanglophones have grown beyond the level of a prostitute. Somebody more important wants to place value on them. And the government should understand that this marriage, if it's going to work, then it has to convince us with practical manifestations and visible investment not telling us that a greater chunk of the money what chunk emmanuel what chunk 